In this video, we're going to use a straight line to come up with the parametric equations for our volume. So, uh, so looking at our straight line, um, it, the equation for a straight line is given by tx, where t represents a gradient. So, uh, so we can make t to be small, where the gradient will be small. Um, we are trying to keep track of where the straight line will intercept with the um, with the uh, with the red line. So, if we can find a way of keeping track of of the intersection of the two, then, then that will lead us to the parametric equations to describe this part. So, so you, can, you can increase t, you can make t. Remember, t represents a gradient of, of the straight line. So, so we can keep track of this, then eventually it will lead us to our parametric equations. So let, let me illustrate this. So, uh, so this a here is just a constant. This a here is just a constant. Um, the equation of our straight line is, uh, so, so in our case, we're going to use b to represent t, so we can slide it back and forth. Um, if we can keep track of this, of the intersection of the straight line and the and the red line, then that will lead us to our parametric equations. Okay, so uh, so the, so we'll look like this. Okay, let me put on play. Hang on. So uh, so we can so our aim is really to try and keep track of this purple dot. So really, our aim. Our aim, our aim is really to keep track of this thing here, okay? And and also bear in mind that um, y equals uh, when when t is negative one, it will look like this. So bear, bear this straight line in mind, okay? So we're, we're going to refer back to it later on. So hang on, let me put it. So so we are trying to keep track of this purple dot. We are trying to keep track of this purple dot. So hang on, let me switch back to here. So to come up with the to come up with our parametric equations, we, we need to we need to keep track of these dots here. Um, that that means we 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 always need to keep track of where the straight line will intersect with the red line. So uh, so by setting this by putting this into the y here, that will then give us this, and put this into this y here, that will then give us this. So now um, now tidy this up. Uh, tie, well, here, take this from take 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 this away from both sides. That will then lead us to this, and then now you've got to the power of three, to the power of three x squared. Factor out factor out x squared. That will then give us this. So we are trying to make this whole thing here to be zero. We are trying to find values of t where where this whole thing here will equal zero. If if we can find values of t where this condition is satisfied. Then really, that's that's really us keeping track of this point. So we are trying to make this whole thing to be zero. At the moment, you've got one thing multiplying another thing. If you can if you can make this bubble to be zero, then the whole thing will automatically be zero. So let's concentrate on making this to be zero. So so set this to be zero. So set it to be zero. So that's x plus t to the power of three x minus. 3at equals zero. Add this to both to both sides. That will then lead us to this. And then now um, you've got x here, x here. Factor factor out the x. That will then give us this. Divide both sides by this thing here. That will then give us that will then give us uh, this thing here. So x is given by is given by this. Once you know x, then you can put it back into here. So y would be given by by this thing here, so it's just times it by t. That will then give you t squared. So these are our parametric equations. These are our parametric equations. So looking back at this, um, re remember t represents a gradient. So so w w when we use a straight line, we cannot have t to be zero because that that wouldn't that wouldn't be a straight line. T then t cannot be zero if if we if we're using a straight line to simulate. Our, our scenario, then t cannot be zero because it wouldn't be a straight line. So looking at this, t cannot be zero. T cannot be zero. Um, and then looking at this, t breaks down when uh, t breaks down when it's negative one. So when t is negative one, it breaks down. Um, but then we, we we are using a straight line to try and come up with our parametric equations. But a straight line. If, if we use a straight line, the straight line uh, t cannot be zero in order for this in order for the straight line to exist. In order, sorry, in order for the straight line to exist, t 
t cannot be zero. But the thing is, um, the thing is, our parametric equations will, will still work when t is zero. Um, so, so even though our straight line breaks down, it still makes sense for t equals zero because when t equals zero, it will be dead on, on the or, on the origin. But the thing is, when t equals zero, our line breaks down. But but once we've got once we when, once we are at this stage here, we no longer care about the straight line. You see, we use the straight line to come up with this and to come up with this. Once uh, once we've got our straight line, we don't really need the straight line. Now the t when t equals zero, these two parametric equations will still work to describe this location. So even though t equals zero breaks down for our straight line, well we use our straight line to get to here and to here. Once, once we've got these two equations, we no longer need uh, the straight line. So even though t equals zero, it breaks down the line. We don't really care. Um, we don't really care about the straight line anymore. So, so t equals zero um, will still work for for this thing here. So, so t when t equals zero, it describes the dots. So our parametric, so, so the domain for our parametric equations would be, well, we can have t equals zero. We can have this equals zero, even though the straight line breaks down. We don't care about the straight line. T equals zero still works, so so it's good. But um, but the but the thing is, T cannot be negative one. T cannot be negative one because this thing here will be negative one, and then you're going to divide by zero. So um, so so just bear that in mind. T T cannot be negative one, but T can be zero. I will continue in the next video. Okay.